if you use Pro Tools and are looking for a faster and easy way of working, the Avid Artist series of control surfaces enables you to take deep, hands-on control over every major function of the software. We're going to take a look at how one of these surfaces, Artist Mix, can not only help you speed up your editing and mixing, but maximize your creative control too. As you know, mixing and editing with a mouse and keyboard can be time-consuming and frustrating because you're often navigating through menus or performing complex functions to do what you need to do. Plus, you generally can only tweak things one at a time. With Artist Mix, you can grab control of multiple parts of your mix and perform complex functions instantly right from the surface with incredible precision. Not only that, Artist Mix and all other Artist Series control surfaces integrate deeply with Pro Tools, thanks to Yukon, an open avid control protocol that uses Ethernet to talk to the software it's controlling. And because Yukon is much faster and offers several times the resolution of MIDI, you get a tight, connected experience in which the control surface acts and feels like a physical extension of your software. In fact, you can work with multiple Yukon enabled applications such as Logic, Cubase, Media Composer and others in addition to Pro Tools. And Yukon will automatically switch the faders, controls and displays on Artist Mix to match whatever application is in focus. To get started, simply connect Artist Mix to your computer and select Ethernet controllers from the Pro Tools Setup Peripherals menu and you're ready to go. No other setup is required. And although Artist Mix is a fully featured control surface, you can connect additional Artist Series units to form a larger, integrated system for serious editing and audio mixing applications. For this tutorial, we've got our Artist Mix connected to a Mac Pro running Pro Tools and Logic Pro, as well as an iMac running Media Composer. Before we show you what it can do, let's take a look at the surface. Artist Mix is a fully functional standalone control surface. It has eight touch-sensitive motorized faders and eight touch and velocity-sensitive rotary encoders. Above the encoders are eight high-resolution OLED displays that show you your project's track information, the parameter values you're editing, and metering up to 5.1 surround. With Artist Mix, you have two different ways of editing parameters. There's Normal Mode and Channel Mode. Right now we're in normal mode with the pan selected, so we see the pan parameters for each of these faders in the OLEDs up on top. If we switch to channel mode and select a channel, all of the parameters of a knob set for our selected channel display in the OLEDs. On the bottom left and right corners of the surface are the shift keys, which enable you to access a second layer of functions on the surface. For example, if you hold the shift key, it changes the function of this aux key to a group key, so when you press it, you can now assign channels to groups. On the left side of the surface are the knob set selector keys, which is where you can access and edit a variety of Pro Tools parameters and functions. On the top right corner of the surface are left and right nudge keys, which allow you to move through your project one track at a time. Below these keys are left and right bank keys, which allow you to quickly move through your project eight tracks at a time. Hold down the shift keys and these keys now enable you to jump to your project's beginning or end, which is a great way to find your way home if you get lost in your project. There's also a key that lets you switch between applications or even workstations. When you press it, you can switch applications, in our case from Pro Tools to Logic Pro. You'll see that all of our faders and displays instantly change to match our Logic Pro project. If we press this key again, we return back to Pro Tools. If you press this same key together with a Shift key, you can switch between workstations. In our case, from our Mac Pro running Pro Tools and Logic Pro to our iMac running Media Composer and all of our mouse and keyboard commands are automatically forwarded to the second workstation. We can now control Media Composer using our Mac keyboard and mouse. Now we can use Artist Mix to control audio levels in Media Composer and more. OK, let's switch back to our Mac Pro to see Artist Mix in action with Pro Tools. One of the strengths of the Artist series is the amount of application control you have directly from the surface. This includes assigning and controlling inserts and sends. Let's take a look at how to assign an insert to a selected track. First, you need to select which track you'd like to add an insert to. We're going to choose one of the percussion tracks. First, press the Select key next to the fader and press the Inserts key to make sure you're displaying inserts on your knob sets. Now you're ready to configure a new insert. 
On the top left side of Artist Mix, press the page left and page right keys together to enter configuration mode. To make the next few selections, you'll be pressing the knob top of a corresponding rotary encoder. First, choose where you'd like to place the insert. In Pro Tools, you can add an insert in any of the 10 insert points, labelled A through J. We're going to press the knob top for insert A, and then select to insert a plugin. Now we're presented with a folder list of our available plugins. Press the page right key to view additional folders. This folder structure on Artist Mix follows the same layout as in Pro Tools, and if your preferences are set to display by manufacturer, for example, the folders will also be displayed this way. Let's add an EQ. Our EQ folder shows all of the EQs we have available. We're going to select the 7-band EQ3 plugin, which comes with Pro Tools. You can also select third-party EQ plugins. Once you've selected a plugin, press the two page keys again to exit configuration mode. Now you're ready to edit your EQ. You can also assign default EQ and Dynamics plugins in the Pro Tools Preferences window, which can speed up your workflow by having these plugins available from your first level view of Artist Mix. A bit like having a big console in front of you with one type of Dynamics and EQ, for example. Also, by using your keyboard's modifier keys with this setup procedure, you can quickly assign plugins to multiple tracks. For example, if you hold down the Shift and Option keys and press the knob top for the default EQ, you can add your selected plugin to all selected tracks. Holding the Option key and pressing the EQ knob top will add your selected EQ plugin to all tracks. Now that we have a few inserts or plugins assigned to our tracks, and we can access their parameters for editing, let's turn our attention to the dedicated EQ and dynamic knob sets. While we can access all the parameters of a plugin by selecting it from the insert's knob set, different manufacturers may group these parameters differently, depending on the amount of control the plugin gives you. The EQ and dynamic knob sets will provide a familiar layout of the first plugin in the insert chain of these categories. Let's see how it works. First, let's look at the layout of our 7-band EQ3 plugin when we recall it from the insert's knob set. Just press the knob top to open the parameters for that EQ. As you can see on the OLEDs, the EQ controls are grouped by different bands of EQ. For this plugin, you'll need to navigate several pages to access all of the parameters. Select the EQ key on the left side of Artist Mix to bring up its knob set, and you can see how that same plugin is mapped to the rotary encoders. As you can see, the top level view gives you access to four parametric EQ bands across the eight rotary encoders. You can control the low mid gain and frequency with these two encoders here and by pressing the SELECT key for the frequency knob, you can access the bandwidth or Q. Similarly, by selecting the Dynamics knob set, Ratio, Threshold, Attack, Release and other parameters are mapped to give you familiar access to these parameters with whichever preferred Dynamics plugin you're recalling. While the rotary encoders give you precise control of various parameters, sometimes you might want to have the detailed control of pushing the faders. By holding the Shift key and pressing the Chan or Channel key, you can access the secondary command of this button and flip control from the encoders to faders and vice versa. This feature has many uses, like giving you more detailed control for automating a sweep for a filter, but I'd like to show you my favorite use of this feature, which comes in handy for setting up headphone mixers. First, create a bus destination for a headphone mix, which will be a dedicated output. To do this, select a channel, select the AUX knob set from the left side of the artist mix and press the two page keys to enter configuration mode. We're going to select send F by pressing the corresponding encoder knob top. Then select output, hold down your keyboard's option key and then select headphone output. This applies an output to our headphones from send F across all channels. Now, confirm that you're in normal view by ensuring that the channel key is not lit and the OLEDs are not showing a highlighted view. Then use the page keys to page across and view send F. Flip the encoders to the faders by holding the shift key and pressing the channel key to use its secondary mode. The OLEDs now show a double arrow to show that you're in flip mode. Now you can quickly set up a headphone mix for the talent using the faders. A powerful Yukon feature that's available in all Artist Series controllers is the option to create layouts. Layouts enable you to customize the faders on your control surface with specific channels from your session, without having to change the order of faders in your Pro Tools mix window. 
This indispensable feature is commonly used by professional post-production mixers, enabling them to populate and organize faders to mix dialogue, effects, or Foley channels more easily, but it can be used for music mixing too. To assign Pro Tools channels to specific faders, hold the Shift key and press the Attention key for any fader. This will open the U-Control window in the Assign tab. Using your mouse or trackball, click on the pop-up menu next to the first channel of the artist mix to see all of your project's available channels. Let's set up a couple of different layouts. First we'll create one for all the strings. For each fader and artist mix, select the Pro Tools channel you'd like to lock to that fader. After you do this, you'll see a little lock appear on the OLED above the fader when a channel is assigned to it. You can even insert blank channels for separation or when you have fewer channels than faders. Once you've assigned your faders, select the Layouts tab to save your layout. Just select the layout location number you want to store and then store that layout. To change the name of a layout, double click on the auto assign name and type in a new one. If you want to go back to the original order of the channels in your mixer, just recall a blank layout. You can create and save up to 48 layouts per project, and we can switch between them by recalling each layout. Layouts are project specific, and will save with your project, so you can take your session to another workstation for mixing and have your layouts intact. As you can see, with Artist Mix, you can work with Pro Tools and other Yukon Enable applications much faster and easier than with just your mouse and keyboard. Not only that, you get the same high-speed, high-resolution connectivity and control as high-end professional consoles at a much lower cost to speed up and enhance your creativity. From its ergonomic slimline design and comprehensive controls to its native software integration with the world's leading media application developers, you get an unbeatable editing and mixing experience when you connect with Artist Mix. Use Artist Mix with a growing list of professional software. Visit avid.com to learn more.